everyone. Thanks for tuning in. This is Kirpreet from Dataverse Canvas and today we are going to learn another fun technique on how to do pie chart drill downs. This is another example or we can say another use case where we can use set actions. And for this we'll be using sample superstore data set. Before any further delays, let me show you how it looks like and what I'm talking about. So as you can see in this pie chart, we have two circles, outer circle and inner circle. And we have three different categories, technology, furniture, and office supplies. And when we hover over to any of the outer circle, it will drill down into subcategories and shows us the sales number. We can use any measure or any dimension in this case, but for this particular example, I am showing the sales by category and subcategory. So as you can see here, the total sales for technology is 836,000. Um, and when we hover over to these one, it shows us the subcategories. And when I hover over to these subcategories, it shows us the percentage of total sales. For example, in this scenario, phone contribute to 40.37 percentage of technology sales. So that way, if we hover over to office supplies, we can see the drill down and similarly for furniture. So let's let's get started with a blank workbook and see how we can achieve the same results. So for this, first of all, we will connect to the data and connect to sample superstore. And we will change the marks to pi. And we will bring the category to color shelf. And once that is there, we will see the pie chart already there. And then we will bring the sales to the angle shelf. And I will change it into entire view so we can see a bigger pie. Increase the size a little bit. And then we will sort the categories into descending order by field. In this case, we will use sales, which is already there. And now as we have this pie chart created, we need to create a category set. So in this case, we need to create a subcategory set. Uh, actually, you can do either based on your requirements. So for example, I will show you uh, how to create a category set first. So click, right click on category and go to create and create a category set. And I will say here category set. And in this case, I will just select furniture as of now. So you will see category set is created. And then I will create a calculated field, which I will say selected category. And here I will say if category set is selected, then show me subcategories. Else show me category and so what it will do is when we hover over to this category set after clicking uh, setting a set actions, it will show us the drill down in the form of subcategory. So now this is created. Now we create a, a separate placeholder and this we will create average and we will create a zero and you will see this particular pie chart and now we'll increase the size a bit bigger and I will create I will re remove the tooltips from here I will create a duplicate field so we can see two pie charts and then in here I will bring our calculation which we created of selected uh, category so which is this one and I will bring it into the detail shelf and then I will change the detail mark to color mark and you will already start seeing the categories here into subcategories because we selected only furniture you will see the colors uh, are different here we which, which we will set it in a second but um, as you can see here the subcategories are already broken down for furniture. So we can quickly go here and create a set action by going to action and add action by changing the set value. And I will create it as a category, subcategory action. And I will select category set here. And as of now, I will keep it on the hover over and we'll keep remove all the values from the set after clearing the selection so once we remove the cursor it will go back to the default value 
So let's click OK and see how it works. So I click on the office supplies and office supplies is broken down into subcategories, same way furniture and technology. So now we have to update the colors on the right hand side. So for this, first of all, we will go into this subcategory section and we will change the technology color to red, furniture to blue, office supplies to orange. We'll see it's all similar, but now the subcategory colors are not right. So for that, we will just go to actions again and make it on select rather than hover. So when we do that, when we click on this one, we can see subcategories. So I can go to subcategory edit colors. And in this case, office supplies, I will select all the office supplies and change the color to orange. Assign palette. Okay. And you can see it's all into orange. And same way when we do it to technology, we'll go back there and select all technology colors to red. And these are the continuous color palettes. So I will apply that. And same way we will do it for furniture. So edit colors, select furniture, and select the blue continuous color palette, and apply. And then we go back. So now you can see it's all the colors are showing there. It's because of the action. So I will go back to the action. And I will select remove all values from the set. And we can do it on hover over again and click OK. And when you hover over, it will only drill down onto those particular sets. And now we will create a dual axis. Now dual axis is created. We will synchronize the axis. And we will hide the headers. We don't need headers in this case. So once the headers are hidden, now we will just go into the color shell and change the borders to white. And in this particular scenario, at the bottom one, I will change the opacity to, let's say, yeah, around 70, 75. And I will also change the color borders for this one to white. And the size of the inner circle, I will reduce it a little bit. And here you go. So this much is pretty good. And now when I hover over to this one, it will drill down into the bottom subcategory section. And you can see on the hover over on the outer section, you can see the category technology and it's giving the sales. And on the inner side, you can see the subcategory, which is showing the sales of subcategory. And you can do anything with these measure values. So in this case, we are showing sales, but you can go to sales and add a table calculation and show percentage of total. And when you hover over, it will tell you exactly like in this case, binders contribute to 8.85% of office supplies. And after doing that, you can do a bit of formatting. If you don't need the borders, you can remove the borders from column dividers and row dividers. Remove the grid lines if there are any, or zero lines. And this is what it will look like. I hope you guys enjoyed this session. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment in the below video. And we'll catch you guys soon next time. Thank you.